Hello, hello. Kenny Evans here. Another car video. Topic of this video is women who are too tired for sex. Before I get started on this video, I want to let y'all know. So for me, I help people not only with um, dating relationships, but also business making money, health, nutrition, fitness. I know I've done a lot of videos on the uh, dating relationships, but I do other things as well. You know what I mean? You know, we're all in the process of growing and transitioning constantly. So I want to help you to be the best version uh, you can of yourself in all aspects of your life. You know what I mean? So I um, just want to throw that out there for y'all to know. But uh, so when I say, hey, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about. Let me know so we can talk about other topics. You know what I mean? And before I forget, for y'all who have been here for a while or if you're new, subscribe, hit the notification button. And if you just want to support me or if you just like my videos in general, hit the like button. I appreciate it. And uh, so let us get started on this video. So women who are too tired for sex. It's a pretty big deal. Especially if you like sex or if you have a high sex drive. So for you to be dealing with a woman who um, is saying she's too tired for sex um, or she doesn't like to have sex very often, obviously you, you didn't vet her very well. That's the first thing. First problem. You didn't vet her for very well. You know, um, you should have done a better job at vetting her uh, to let her know. Um, well, first, to fit, figure out what kind of woman she is. Figure out if she has a high sex drive or not. You know, or at least if she's open to increasing the frequency of sex because you like to have sex a lot. You know, so whether she's had a hard day at work. You know what I mean? And you get home and you're 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 horny. Or she's been at the house, you know, taking care of her kids or whatever. You're married and you're horny and you feel like having sex or getting a blowjob, whatever it is, she has to be willing to, to, to help you because of her love and interest in you. You know what I mean? So if you don't have a woman who's willing to sacrifice her comfort for maybe 30 minutes an hour, or maybe if it's something quicker, then you did a bad job of vetting. You know what I mean? And that's on you. You know? Um, I got to throw in a bonus at the end. <laughs> that just not came to my mind. You know what I mean? So, first thing first, you, you did a bad job of vetting her. You know, you shouldn't have gotten involved with her in the first place. Second, you should have let her know your sexual demands. You should have let her know your sexual demands. If you like to have sex uh, five times a week, boom, you let her know. If she's down, cool. If now you gotta figure something out. If you like to have a, a sex once a week, boom, you let her know. If that's too much, then you got a problem. You gotta, you gotta figure some things out. She's not willing to adjust. You know what I mean? You gotta let her know your sexual demands and she has to know whether she can keep up with those demands or not. If she can't, obviously you know you, you did a you did a you did a bad job vetting. You know what I mean? Because you want a woman who's be able to keep up with your demands, if not succeed your demands sexually. You know what I mean? So that's important. If she's not able to keep up or exceed your demands, obviously you did a bad job vetting. You got some choices to do. You got to make. You know. But. You know, if you're in a relationship or you're married, light a fire under her ass, you know what I mean? And uh, say, hey, maybe we should think about a, an open relationship. I mean, it's pretty simple. If she is not willing or she cannot physically meet your sexual demands, instead of you cheating, and that's just weak, cheating, you know, think about open relationships. Say, hey, if you're not able to meet the demands I need sexually, let me get somebody else so I can take some pressure off of you. You know what I mean? Get somebody else who will be able to take the pressure off and, um, you know, then you'll be happy. 
especially if that's all that she is lacking. Just she doesn't have a very high sex drive. So, you know what I mean? That would be the perfect fix. Because at the end of the day, it's her who does not want to have sex with you. <laughs> it's not the other way around. You know what I mean? So she got to keep that in mind. And so do you. You know? Of course, this is a, a, a last result. A, a, a last resort, actually. If after you've discussed it. You know what I mean? She's discussed other options. So she's still not willing to. Say, hey, let's have a thing about an open relationship. You know, then after that, you got some choices you got to make. You know, so, but of course, you also got to think about her. Maybe you are not being as sexual as you used to. Maybe a little bit complacent. So with that, you got to be a little bit more spontaneous sexually as well as flirty. You know, maybe you, you kind of, you know, initiate uh, sex where you start kissing her and maybe messing with her out of the blue randomly. You know what I mean? Maybe you talk about, you compliment her body, the body that you like, or you, you talk about some sexual experiences you had in the past that you want to relive. You know, something to get the mood going again, but randomly. You know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do to make sure that she knows that you're still sexually attracted to her. You know? Because it's all about building up that sexual tension. Because especially if you're in a relationship and it's just so casual where maybe you have kids and you just go through the routine, you got to be able to bring a little bit of a, uh, uh, a little bit of a change, do something different or maybe go out on dates, you know, do some date nights. You know what I mean, you just have to do something different and spontaneous to kind of build that, to build that sexual tension. You know, that's something, uh, coach Corey Wayne has said. You know, certain to a certain extent, but you just have to change it up, you know, be a little different than you were so you could get a different result. Now, of course, um, if nothing changes, last but not least, you got to be able to, uh, you know, you got to leave, you got to leave. If she's not willing to change, don't want to open a relationship. But she still has a low sex drive. She still complains about being too tired to have sex. You gotta leave. Women know this first and foremost. When they get in a relationship with a man, most men like to have sex. And they like to have sex a lot. Even if you've been in a relationship for years. And if you are not willing to meet that demand and you don't want to get in an open relationship, and then you gotta be willing to think about yourself and realize you'll be able to get other women. Women are, are not a problem, you know what I mean? And you have to leave because you exhausted all your resources. You did, you did everything you, you could do, you know what I mean? If she's still not winning, you know, that means she don't she don't really care about you enough, you know? She don't find you a um, high enough value. She don't consider you a, a high enough option. More than likely, she settled for you, you know what I mean? And she's just not that interested in you, you know? So... You got to move on and move forward, you know, because if you don't, you're going to be in a sexist uh, marriage or relationship or situation where you don't have sex for, for, for years. And that's not good for her. It's not good for you. You know what I mean? So you got to, you got to move on if nothing changes. But the little bonus tip I have for y'all, you know, obviously if a woman is not uh, willing to sacrifice herself to have sex, if she's exhausted, but just because of her interest in you and her love for you and being in love with you, she's not willing to still have sex with you. Obviously, she is not very sexually attracted to you. Something uh, Lacario talks about a lot. Women settling for men that they're not really sexually attracted to. You know, she's not willing to just have sex with you out of the blue, spontaneously. You got to build her up all the time and she's always complaining about being tired or she's just not interested. You got a woman who's not very sexually attracted to you. And again, that goes back to um, vetting. You didn't vet her very well, you know. And if she's not very sexually attracted to you, again, you could talk about it. You could see if she could adjust, if she's willing to learn. But if not, you just, you got to leave. That's the bottom line. Don't put up with girls who 
who are not sexually attracted to you and um, who are not willing to give you as much sex as you want. You know, so uh, that was a little bonus I got for y'all. And uh, that's all I got for y'all here today. So, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Let me know what you like, dislike about it. Let me know whether you agree, disagree. Let me know. I'm open. You know what I mean? Because, again, this channel isn't for me. It's also for y'all. Um, let me know what other topics you want me to talk about, whether it's health, wealth, you know, uh, dating relationships. It doesn't matter. Again, this channel is for y'all, not for me. You know, I'm the host here, sure. But I'm making this channel to help you guys to be better. You know, so. And, of course, donations are always welcome. If you find value in this video or you enjoy this video, I appreciate the, the donations. Again, thank you for the support. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Till next week, I'll see y'all then. And always remember, the happiest man is the strongest. Or <laughs> oh man, can't believe I fluffed that. But the strongest man is the happiest man.